Hey guys, I wanted to share just a quick tip today related to checklists within TickTick. So I'm not talking about subtasks, but rather I'm talking about the checklists that you can turn on within the task description. And then you can just go down and check those items off. Have you ever had the need to move a long list of checklist items to a different task? If you have, you'll have noticed that that is not an easy feat. Um, besides doing it one by one, there's really not an easy way to do it. But I have discovered a little workaround that does make it a little bit easier. So let's jump into Tick Tick and I'll show it to you. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. Okay, so I'm jumping into Tick Tick now, and I'm gonna go down to my personal list. And in my personal list, I have a task called Pick Up the Groceries After Work. And this has a checklist within the task description. And so again, these are not subtasks. If they were subtasks, they would look a little different. So let me just create a subtask so we can see the difference. So now this task has a subtask and it's down here, unload the groceries. And subtasks, if you're not familiar with the difference between subtasks and checklists, subtasks are standalone tasks, really, and they have a lot more functionality than the checklist. The checklist is really just a simple list of check items that you can you know, use within your task description to check items off. You can set reminders on the check items, uh, but that's really the only additional functionality that, um, that they provide. So this tip is for the checklist item. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete my subtask that I created. And now I'm left with just my checklist items. And now let's say that I have a new task. I'm gonna call it pick up the groceries next week. This task doesn't have any checklist items on it, obviously, because it's a new task. But let's say I want to copy all of these checklist items over to that new task. There's really no easy way to do that. I mean, I can't grab it and drag it. I can't even highlight them. I can't even highlight you know, more than one. So how can you go about moving this list of check items over to that new task? Well, here's a little trick. I can click this icon up here in the upper right, which is the toggle between the text and the checklist. So if I toggle it back to text, highlight it, I'm gonna hit Control C on my keyboard to copy. Now I'm going to turn it back to a checklist because that's how I want it. And then I'm gonna go over to my new task, paste this into the description, and then toggle the checklist again. And so now I have moved my checklist from one task to another. So that's just kind of a quick tip I wanted to share with everyone today. I'm interested though in the comments, do you guys use checklists? Uh, I believe it's a bit of a historical artifact left over within TickTick. You know, I believe this was the original subtask before they got the, the real subtasks in place. Uh, there was only the checklist option. And so people were using these as subtasks. But, but now that we do have the subtask functionality, um, I'm wondering if anyone actually uses these checklists anymore. Um, I find that I rarely use them, but I'd be interested to know if you do. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.